another video so today I got something a little different for y'all so it's a new year you know we got New Year's resolutions and all that and one of my New Year's resolutions was to do my beauty maintenance at home I don't know if it's just me but I found myself spending hundreds low-key thousands on beauty maintenance every month and I'm like no I just I know it's in me to be able to do all of my beauty maintenance at home I just have to really sit down and do it so that's what we're gonna be doing today baby I'm gonna teach you how to be a lash artist you're gonna be a hairstylist baby you're gonna be an esthetician name it we're gonna do it a waxer oh my gosh I'm so excited so I hope this video inspires you to do it at home girl you have it in you to do it and we gonna do it together if you like this video make sure to let me know down below like comment subscribe and share all that jazz and i know that we love to take care of the outside of our body but it's also very important to take care of the inside of our body which brings us to our sponsor of the day ritual it's a new year and no better time to start taking clear first steps towards your health goals than now ritual is giving you 30 percent off of your first month so you can start building better habits as a lot of you know, I am five months postpartum and a lot of people don't know that the postpartum period is actually more nutritionally demanding than pregnancy itself, which is why I love my Ritual Postnatal. With just two easy to take capsules, it provides you with 15 nutritional demands that your body needs in the postpartum period. I personally love how transparent Ritual is with their ingredients. They tell you exactly what they use and why. Ritual's Essential Postnatal contains important ingredients such as vitamin C and zinc. It also contains omega-3 DHA to support fatty acid content of breast milk for lactating women. And the best part of it all is it can be delivered right to your door through their subscription service. Start the new year off right with the support of traceable, high quality, science-backed products from Ritual. Ritual also offers a multivitamin for women and men, 18, 50 plus, prenatal plus a symbiotic and protein powder. Get 30% off of your first month by going to ritual.com forward slash Maya30 and using my code Maya-30. Okay y'all, so we made it to the bathroom. We're probably gonna be in here all day, but it's gonna be worth it. So the first thing that I'm going to start with is skincare. So I'm going to be doing my skincare. I'm gonna shave my face. We're gonna do a face mask. And then after that, we're going to wax. I'm gonna wax my eyebrows, wax my upper lip, I'm scared because I've never done that before and we're just gonna pray it all works out. We're just, we're just gonna pray it all works out. All I'm gonna do is just cleanse my face. So I'm just gonna cleanse my face first. This is just my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cleanser. We're gonna get a clean face and then we're going to, should we, ooh, no. We're gonna shave and then we're gonna do the face mask so the face mask can really like seep in. Yeah, okay. Okay, face is clean. Now I'm going to put some water in this so it can heat up so when we do our facial, we can have our pores nice and open. And now I'm going to shave my face. Now this is different from dermablading, so don't get it confused. Dermablading, you have to use a different tool. I guess it's like, it's a really different though, girl. You know, they just be saying stuff. But I'm just gonna shave my face. Shaving my face is going to allow my makeup to have a really nice application. It's gonna have my skincare have a nice application. So yeah, I like to shave my face. Okay, so to shave my face, I'm using two things. These razors, these are, these are just face razors. You can use them on your eyebrows, face, whatever. And then this vitamin C serum. Girl, I literally got this from Marshalls. I know we love to spend hundred of dollars, hundreds of dollars on skincare, but that thing be having my face glowing. So this is my, I haven't shaved my face in a long time, girl. So we're gonna see. Okay, so we're just going to put some face oil on. And after this, we are gonna do a little face mask, but I'm just gonna put some face oil on, a little bit more on. And I never said I was no professional, so don't get it twisted. Like, don't get it twisted, listen. If I could save a coin, I'm definitely gonna save a coin.
Okay. So I just shaved my face and I did show you guys a little bit of the hair that, you know, I got. I don't think it was a lot, but my face definitely looks like a little bit brighter. And yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm definitely feeling it. Okay. Now time to the scary part because we're about to wax my eyebrows. <laughs> we're about to literally wax my eyebrows. Hold on. So I picked this up from Ulta and it's the NADS facial wax strip. It says six weeks of no hair. So it comes with the wax strips, which are right here. We've got some of the cooling, calming oil wipes. So this is probably after. And then the skin shield powder. Okay, so this is the powder I put on before. All right, I definitely need the instructions. What if I <laughs> rip off my eyebrows? Y'all don't understand. Okay, how does this work? So I am going to remove, um, I don't think there's any oil here, but I'm just gonna remove any oil that might have made its way over here. <laughs> I'm so scared. Are y'all ready? We're just gonna full send it. I'm not gonna put the powder on because even when I get my like upper lip, upper lip wax or my eyebrows waxed, they never put powder. So this is it, y'all. You already? Just full send, you just have to do it. You just have to do it, you just have to do it. Ooh! Yeah. So it got me a little bit right here, in this area. Oh, am I supposed to put a, uh-uh. Okay. No, it definitely got it off though. Am I supposed to put pressure or something? I need to do more research into this stuff. I don't have, there's no hair on this side, y'all. It was only a little bit right here. So I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do that side. So for the brows, we are, I wanna cut this. They told me to cut it like this so I can place it more so where it needs to be. And I'm just gonna place it Right here. Like so, like that. Y'all ready? <laughs> okay, this is actually gonna have hair on it. Oh yeah, nice. That's good. That's real good. Y'all see? <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like I know what I'm doing. Okay. Let's do right here. Y'all ready? And number two, ready? Yep. Ooh, yeah. Nice. Oh my gosh, I'm actually doing it. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, all right, are we good? I got it, y'all. All right, number two. Number two, I like these. I'm about to start waxing air yeah, out of eyebrows. Okay, here we go. And one, two. Oh, look. I'm out here doing a one in the middle. Hold on, because I don't want it to. Let me cut this down a little bit. All right, let's do our middle strip. The other part right here. Yeah. So these are the cooling, calming wipes they give you. So I'm just going to wipe all the areas I wax. This part is starting to kind of come down a little bit, but obviously it's like a little irritating. Waxed. Okay, so now that our waxing is done, it's time to move on to our skincare and our little facial. I know I have literally spent hundreds of dollars at an esthetician, no ma'am, Pam. So all I'm going to do is just do a little facial at home. I'm gonna be heating up my water in this steamer so I can steam my face just like you would at a little esthetician. And then I'm using this exfoliating mask. It's a five minute pumpkin mask. I got this at a local shop and it is so nice. I love how like bright it makes my face look. 
and it's also an exfoliating mask so it just helps with like that first dead layer of skin mm, yeah girl we really about to get into it while i steam i'm also going to be putting on these pure gel under eye little like pad patches um it says it's infused with aloe vera so really just to hydrate the under eye i really just want to have that glowy hydrated look Oh yeah, these are nice. Very much at home with it. They are slipping. Time to apply our mask. Slipping! Okay y'all, I just finished my facial. Can we get into the glow? Can we get into the hydration? My skin feels so good and I'm so glad I shaved my face because I feel like my skincare products really soaked into my skin. So yeah, it looks really, really good, y'all. Eyebrows look really good. So we got like the face stuff done besides our lashes. I'm gonna do my lashes after I do my hair because we're actually gonna hop in the shower and I'm gonna show you guys how I do maintenance on my tapins. And the maintenance on tapins is insultingly it's expensive. Literally, y'all, to wash and get this pressed out, it was like 250. I was like, <laughs> get somebody else to do it because I'm gonna do it myself. So I'm going to hop in the shower and show you guys how I do my tape and maintenance. Okay, y'all. So we happen in the shower because we really have to get this hair clean. I think that's the biggest thing when you're trying to press out your hair. So I'm going to go ahead and section my hair so I can do a thorough clean. Don't be lazy, girl. We have to really be thorough. So I'm using my Olaplex. This is the number four. And this really just helps to strip my hair of any oils, of any dirt. I usually wash my hair every two weeks. So there's definitely some buildup. So I'm going ahead from root to tip take all of the oil all of the product out because this is going to give you that really really silk to the press type of look i am finger detangling so i can kind of get some of those knots out before i actually comb through my hair and then i'm going to go ahead and rinse and we're doing a double cleanse meaning we are shampooing twice just to be a hundred percent on the whole thing so i first shampooed in sections and now i'm just going to shampoo all of my hair together really scrubbing that scalp being thorough the word of the day is thorough i'm using my olaplex number five for my conditioner this really just helps to get my hair moisturized without leaving any type of residue when i was using my curly hair products on my hair i felt like it was too moisturizing and it would make my hair too oily so i'm gonna go ahead and detangle with my brush i love this brush you can get this at marshall's when you're detangling your tape ins make sure you're holding your hair do not tug on your hair because you might tug that tape in right out um no i'm joking but you might after a while so i am starting at the ends of my hair and working up into the root just making sure my hair is very detangled so that way when i apply the hydrating mask that it really just soaks into every strand you don't want any knots or anything to be tangled and after the conditioner has sat for about five minutes i just went ahead and rinsed it out and after that we're going to apply our olaplex number eight which is the bond intense hydrating mask love this my hair soaks it up it's very important to not neglect your hair when you have tapins that's the reason why a lot of people's hair be falling out if your tapins are applied the right way by a professional stylist and if you maintain them you can really still have healthy natural hair so i'm applying this all throughout my hair making sure to get it on the extensions and my hair and i'm going to let this sit for 20 minutes okay so it's time to press this hair out i let my hair air dry till it was probably like 80 percent dry because we are going to go in with a blow dryer but it's like that curling blow dryer i'm gonna show you in a minute so first things first detangle and apply heat protectant if you are not applying heat protectant you must just want your hair to be fried your hair needs heat protectant apply heat protectant so this is the revlon blow dryer i was talking about i literally love this thing it's super loud and obnoxious but it is the probably the like the best hair product ever created because what it makes it so easy like you don't have to hold a blow dryer 
and a round brush at the same time it's built in one and i feel like this is perfect for tapins just make sure that you're really getting your roots as well you don't want to have curly roots and straight ends like that just is not a vibe so make sure you're also spending time at your roots and kind of holding it at your roots for a moment and then going and following through with the rest of the hair but i'm doing this super super thorough you do not want any strand to be wet make sure your hair is completely dry before you go into straightening so my hair is a hundred percent dry a hundred percent and now we're going to move into our straightening so i'm about to show you the key to success for super straight hair this is a straightening brush you're going to use this to follow through with your straightener i'm using the heat pro i really like this strainer i wish i would have got a bigger one like a wider one and of course we taking it back with bio silk because bio silk is the key to success but you don't need a lot i literally put one dot of bio silk on my hair and that is enough for that section i also sectioned my hair into six sections Sections. do not do big sections make sure you're taking your time and I just took my flat iron in my brush followed through with a brush and boom perfectly straight hair there's no product in the hair so it's going to be very soft and silky and that's how you get a nice silk press I don't know about y'all but when I like get services done I study what they're doing because I'm like I can do that too gorgeous i threw in some like really 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 loose like not even curls i just gave it a little bump so it can have some volume and it wasn't so flat and i think it looks so good this is what i want when i tell my stylist like can you judge it up and they be giving me them little like carolina curls like i don't want that i just want something like this and i'm so see girl this is what i mean like girl you just gotta do it at home and do it exactly how you want it so i'm gonna pin this back out of my face because it's lash time i actually have been doing my lashes at home for quite some time now i think probably like six months now so i want to show you guys what i'm using it's super super simple i promise you guys it does take a little bit of practice but once you get it down you get it down so these are the lashes i'm going to be using this is the first this is my first time trying these lashes i'm trying these because these are d curl as you can see look at how much these curl up this is really going to give you that like lash extension look that we all want i also love these because it's a shorter set so it goes from 8 to 16 so i am going to do a mega volume cat eye so i want it to be thick but i want it to be short and i want it to be cat eye so that's the goal and then for glue i am using this from i think it's from bellini um i'll link it down below though but it's from amazon and basically this is like the best glue that i have found it'll make my lashes probably stay on for like five days which is perfect for me because after five days i kind of want to do a new set anyways so i'm probably going to switch back into voiceover and just really explain how i apply these and how to do the thing baby we just turn it around and after that we're going to do our nails and then be done Okay, so let's get into lashes. I'm gonna go through this pretty quick. So I'm taking my glue and putting it on the back of my hand. I definitely recommend getting some of those glue rings. I actually just ordered some off of Amazon where it holds your glue. I'm starting with an eight. My lash map is going to be eight, 10, 12, 14, and a couple of 16s at the end. Again, keeping it a nice cat eye with a little bit of volume. I'm doing about three eights, moving into probably three tens two 12s two 14s and two 16s and here's how they look beautiful absolutely stunning uh, lashes are officially done i think i really like slayed this set so the last thing we're gonna do is these nails this is just gonna bring it all together because i can have my hair done lashes and everything my nails aren't done no ma'am pam so i am going to switch back over to voiceover show you guys how i do my nails i did make a full in-depth video on this a while back but i'll just give you a quick overview now these usually will last me like two weeks just like if i was to go to the salon so i definitely recommend doing your nails at home so let's get into it okay so i have a super in-depth video on my channel that i'll link down below but i'm using the kiss bare but better nails and these are gorgeous i will probably not use any other nails but these i am excited to see what other colors they have because this is just such a pretty neutral color and it really goes well with my skin tone so of course i'm sizing up the nails finding which ones fit best don't use too big of nails that's going to give you that bulky look you need it to fit your nail bed 
perfectly then i'm gonna go ahead and push my cuticles back when you have nice trimmed cuticles it makes your manicure look that much better i didn't show you guys trimming my cuticles but i did and then i'm going to just apply a light a light file on all of my natural nails this is going to give the glue and the nail something to stick on which is going to make it last that two weeks like i said so be light do not shred your nails all the way down to the brim be careful but definitely make it so there's a little bit of texture and after that you're going to clean your surface you want your nails to be completely free of oils or dirt this is also going to make your nails last way longer i just took some 91 percent alcohol to do so usually i use super glue but i was at ulta and all they had was this kiss nail glue so i would recommend using super glue and i used that for years and like my nails are still here so i don't know a lot of people in my last video were saying like they would never use super glue but i guess it's just up to your personal opinion so i'm going ahead and applying this don't press too hard where the nail breaks but definitely apply a nice amount of pressure then i'm going to file my nail shape it really nice that's a key make sure your nails are shaped and then i'm applying a clear coat to really just give it that salon look salon finish these are beautiful i absolutely love how these turned out and again this color is just perfect for my skin tone to set it off i'm using some cuticle oil cuticle oil just sets it off okay it just sets it off i think these are so pretty and definitely saved me about a hundred dollars at the salon okay y'all nails are done and we're officially done with all of our beauty maintenance from the hair to the lashes to the nails to the skincare we did it all today and i'm just I'm so happy y'all. I'm so happy with myself, especially my nails. I think my nails are really, really cute. So I hope this can inspire you to do it at home, girl. Do it at home. One thing I'm not gonna let go of is my pedicures. I'm definitely about to book a pedicure for tomorrow so I can really feel complete. Majority of my maintenance is done y'all and I'm so excited. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share and comment down below if you want more videos like this. I love you. I appreciate you. God bless you and I'll see you. Video. Bye.